What's up, you guys? Ah, here we go again. More money, more problems. <laughs> this is the, the F-150. Um, I got a stupid check engine light. Well, I had one already before. If y'all been paying attention, I do be driving with all the Christmas lights on my dashboard. Anyway, I had a check engine light for uh, P017174. Uh, system lean, bank one. And um, I was just following the procedures of what to check for, what would cause that cold to spike up like that. Um, first off, I had, to, I had to pull the air filter, the air filter off. I had to pull this dirty thing off. And as you see right there, well, if you can see all in there, all those leaves right there that fell out. Where? Yeah, it's like a pile of leaves that fell out of this uh, air for, this air box. Is that the AC thing? No. No. Oh. I'm, I'm talking about another thing, babe. I'm not talking about the damn Okay, thing. whatever. Anyway, you guys, pay attention. If you saw those leaves right there that, that done fell, that's on the frame and everything, that fell out of the air system. And uh, they said debris like that can cause that to happen. And, um... Oh. God damn it. All right. All right, anyway, got that back up in there. But if you can see right there... Those are all the leaves that done fell out of the air, out of the uh, the air that done came out. That done came out when the air filter done, uh, when the air filter done came out. That's all the leaves right there. So yeah, make sure you guys, you check your vehicles and shit. If it's been sitting during this quarantine lockdown shit and come outside and start your cars up every once in a while. This is my fault right here. I should have been out here starting my vehicle up like I usually do, but lately I haven't, but yeah. Anyway, you guys, I gotta put this all back together. Gotta put all this back together. Under the hood, I don't know if y'all seen this before, but yeah, I gotta put all this back together. This is a 4.6 Triton, by the way. Well, yeah. Good thing they gave me these uh these air hoses for free, but these hoses didn't work. But I did get charged for them. These didn't work, so I'll replace I'll replace these little things next time. They're not ripped or torn or anything. Next time, these are not ripped or torn or anything, so I'll replace that next time. But uh. I'm gonna start it up, clear the, clear the codes, drive it, see what happens. Because I got a check engine light already for the EGR. The EGR doesn't um uh doesn't affect the the performance of the vehicle, by the way. So I'm not worried about the EGR shit, but that other code that popped up. I'm gonna reset it and see what happens. And um yeah. But that's it though. And um hold on. And um what happened was when we was coming from Shoe Warehouse, if you pay attention on the other video that we did on the second channel and everything, well, it should be uploaded or it's probably gonna have to get uploaded. Uh, we, I came back out to start it. It didn't want to start. Is that Nevaeh? Jocelyn. Uh-oh, she's looking for you. No, she's not. Oh, yeah. But, um, it didn't want to start. It didn't want to turn on or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I got a full tank of gas. What the hell's going on here? Did it again, turned off the air conditioner, that's why I was like, okay, there's an air leak somewhere or there's something going on. And, um, yeah. So right now, after I put this together, I got to start it up, see what happens. And, um, I'll show you guys in the video in a little bit, man. Let me cut it right now. I got to put all this, I got to put all this stuff back together right now. So uh, let me cut it from right here. And, hey, what's up, y'all, man? This, let me end the video right here. The truck ran fine. I didn't get it on camera or whatever, but the truck ran fine. I cleared the codes. I'm going to drive it later on tonight after I take a shower. As y'all see, my hands is black. Go ahead, make the jokes. But the moral of the story is and shit, check your vehicles. Check your vehicles, check your air filter. Check the, check the, the fender where the, air, where the air filter sucks in the air at. It was a lot of crud in there. And next up, I got to do the Jeep as well. See, the Jeep ain't fucking up, but I got to do the Jeep as well and see what's going on with that one. It's a nest on that Jeep. I think there's a nest. There's something in there. Like a live animal or something. Oh, hell no. I think so. It got to be. You, I'm telling you, probably there's a mice up in there. Mice right? or something. It's a live nest up in there. Oh, hell no. Because I remember when we were driving from, from 7-Eleven that night, Co coming back. Cockroaches? No, I heard like, like oh. the wires moving. That's why it's chewing on it or something, yeah. huh? Yeah. So probably tomorrow, you guys, I'm going to check the Jeep. It's content, by the way, so I get to film it and put it on camera, most importantly. But yeah. Check your vehicles. If your car's been sitting for a while, especially during this lockdown, check your vehicles, take it to the car wash, 
get all those leaves off of there. Vac try to vacuum and suck out all those leaves out of there. I'm probably well, I'm not even gonna mess with this no more, huh? No. You think I fixed it when I was driving it? Probably, yeah, probably. Huh. And I got off in it. You never catch me getting off in there, huh? No, you try like a fucking old ass grandma. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, like I said, check your vehicles and shit for real. That was just a simple fix right there. I didn't even fix nothing. I wasted my time, but I didn't even have to fix nothing. <laughs> but anyway, make sure you do uh like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Let me know if y'all like the like the car shit, the car content and everything. And uh y'all have a great weekend. I'm out.